Hey guys, welcome to Sales Land Yap. I'm your host, Paul Penton. I appreciate you taking time out to listen this morning on our first podcast. In preparation for this, as I contemplated what topic I wanted to talk about, one word kept coming to the front of my mind. That word is attitude. And I wanted to define it a step further and use the acronym PMA, Positive Mental Attitude. It sounds easy. Okay, I'll just have a positive attitude. Well, unfortunately, life happens and it's not easy to do so. Imagine with me, if you will, Joe. He's getting ready for work. Kids are running around the house, screaming, driving him crazy. They run through the house. One of the kids knocks over a bowl of cereal, goes all over the floor, milk. He's already running late. He's got to stop and clean that up. Man, he's frustrated. No way he's got a great attitude. Finally, Joe gets in the car, turns the key. Nothing happens. The battery's dead. Now he's got to jump the car off, gets it jumped, finally headed to work. Then he gets called in a traffic jam. By the time he gets to work, he is so uptight. Positive attitude is a million miles away from him. Now, Joe has a choice to make. He can dwell on this. He can do like some people do. Tell every coworker you see what happened to you, trying to drag them into the drama and bring them down, or he can recognize it. And that's one of the first things we have to do in order to have a positive mental attitude is recognize that negative things are going to happen. Bad things are going to happen. There are circumstances that are out of our control that we have to deal with, but we do not have to dwell on them. Now, with this in mind, Joe decides, you know what? It happened. It's over. I'm at work now, and I've got a job to do. So this is what Joe does. Joe takes a few minutes by himself He goes to a quiet place. He turns on his favorite song, something that puts him in a great mood. He listens to his song. Then he listens to a podcast. Then he thinks about something that is special to him, his family. He thinks on that and spends few moments on these positive things. And you know what? The things that happen on the way to work, or a faded memory. Now, Joe is ready to get on the sales floor. He's not talking about what happened because you know what? It doesn't matter. The only thing that matters is he's at work. He has a job to do. He's going to serve the guest. He's prepared because, like the song says, into each life a little rain must fall. But the rain won't last forever. And you know, that's so true. We're going to have things happen. But they're not going to happen all the time. And when they do, we can be prepared to overcome them. So, what do you think? Does it sound easier than it actually is? Well, no, it's really not. It boils down to a choice, a choice that you and I have to make. Our attitude can define us, whether it's positive or negative. I encourage you to focus on the positive things, and avoid these distractions. You cannot feed them. And if you take time and dwell on them, 
Share them with your coworkers. Continue to think about what happened. You turn in that Eeyore, oh, poor me, I had a terrible day. Nothing's going my way. No, no. You starve these distractions, and you starve them by the steps you take to overcome them. Maybe you've seen somebody. You've observed them, how they handle a difficult situation, and you think, man, how in the world did they do that? Simple. They recognize that we're going to have challenges in life. It's part of life. But you and I, once again, can prepare for these things. And the whole thing is, you know what? If I accept that, man, my kids are running around the house. Man, I'm glad I've got kids to run around the house. I'm glad they've got energy. I'm glad that they're there. Man, my kids spill milk. You know what? That's great. It's not a big deal. My car wouldn't start. Okay, well, you know what? It's part of life. It happens. Positive mental attitude. That's going to propel you forward. A negative attitude will not. See the person with a negative attitude who dwells on these things, who always sees the negative, you don't want to be around people like this because they're going to bring you down. But I suggest to you right now that if you will have a positive mental attitude when things are going great, when things are not going great, that you will be contagious you'll find that people want to be around you. And you will bring a positive influence to their lives. I appreciate you so much for being here. Lanyap, it's something that's a little bit extra. And I want to give you just a little bit extra this morning. One of the things I always say when sometimes guests are not coming in like you want them to. They're not saying yes when you ask them to buy. And you get down in that dumps. And and, and and one thing I always remind my sales team is this. It only takes one. And you never know when that one is coming through the door. What that means is it only takes one guest to change everything. Be prepared for that one guest. Recognize they may come in at 10 minutes to 7 on a Friday night and you're ready to go home, but they're there. Give them the attention that they need. Serving. That's what it's all about. Serving the guest. Serving the consumer the best way you can. The easiest way to do so is with a positive mental attitude. Again, thanks for listening this morning. I do appreciate it. I welcome your comments. Email me, paul at saleslanyap.com. Once again, paul at saleslanyap, L-A-G-N-I-A-P-P-E dot com. I will respond. Until next time, Have an awesome day. The podcast you just heard was made using Anchor. Ever thought about making your own podcast? Anchor makes it really easy for anyone to get started. It's a one-stop shop for recording, hosting, and distributing podcasts. Best of all, it's 100% free. Sign up now at anchor.fm slash new. That's anchor.fm slash new to get started.